everyone welcome back to myclass.com today our topic is threads in java so let's start now i am going to write a program for creating thread okay class a extends our thread class then inside this class our run method will write public void run so this is actually the code for one thread system dot out dot print ln we are just printing child thread or new thread okay new thread okay we are putting this inside a loop for uh, printing more than one time it is i less i less than 5 i plus plus okay so this is actually our thread portion okay now we are going to write our main class public static void main string args here i am going to explain a, a big concept like if our thread uh, if our program is not consist consisting any thread portion uh, and then also the main all programmers will uh, treat as a one thread like main thread we all know that the java virtual machine start its execution uh, with the main method so that main method itself is considered as a main thread okay so for that we can here we can say that the current thread at this time if uh, java virtual machine is executing starting uh, its execution the main thread will start its execution okay inside the main method or inside that main thread we are calling another thread for concurrent execution so here i am creating a object of our class a a new a a t equal to new okay then t dot start this is a actual starting portion of our another thread okay so this is our main thread this is our main thread portion and inside the main thread we are just saying the jvm to start execution of the another thread concurrently t dot start if if any other portion of code is there inside the main method that is also executing at the same time the another thread is also executing the we are just putting one another code inside our main thread okay let's see how it's work java c b class dot java okay no problem java b class see main thread is executed like we are printing main thread in five times in our main thread okay main thread and new thread is another thread that is we are executing concurrently that is the inside our class a now i am going to explain a bit one more thing we already discussed that uh, main method start main, main, main method is itself act as a main thread is it then we am just pasting some code like thread tr equal to thread dot current thread that means this tr will now hold which is the current thread in this time printing the current thread detail tr see so let's compile and run 
see after compilation and run current thread one output is like current thread thread main comma five comma main that means now the current thread name is main that is under the main thread itself and the priorities this is here this is the priority value of the main thread five the five is the default value of priority when we are setting another value this that value will display here okay so we can uh, also set the name of we can also edit the name of this current thread tr dot set name set name new name that means it is now change the name of our main thread okay let's see how it's work see now the name of our thread is new name that is under the name under the met, uh, method under the thread main the name is now new name okay now we will check one more thing that how it is inside the another thread okay okay no error okay see first the current thread is our main thread we change the name of the main thread new name then main thread execution work worked after that current thread equal to thread our thread zero the name of the default name of that thread is thread zero five main then we are that is under our main thread see here also the main thread is the see here also after the third third value is main here also the third value is main the priority is the default priority value five here the thread zero the first thread actually that is the meaning of thread zero we then we i have changed the name of that thread that is child new name see now the thread name change after that the execution will complete here and terminate the execution of all main thread and the child thread i think hope you understood the uh, little bit concept of thread by using thread class just go through after that uh, in the next video i will show you how to write a program with runnable interface okay thank you